Who? Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. <laughs> wow, that's so cheesy. Uh, but guys, I have basically seen all your comments, I have received your emails, and literally your thousands and thousands of requests. Um, and I'm basically here to deliver. I am here just for you. Um, but guys, if you don't know me, my name is Samuel Dada, and I'm a PhD student at Cambridge University um, in the most amazing college, enjoy my research in the best lab ever, and I want the same for you. So, I have decided to basically create a series of videos essentially taking you through the whole graduate or postgraduate application process. From writing your CV, to sending that all important email to a potential supervisor that you want to work with, to the interview process. Um, I am no expert by any means, but I am basically going to use my experience of what I have learnt um, to essentially help you. So we've got this, we can do this. So let's go. Ooh. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, just before we get straight down to business because we do want to get straight down to business I just want to remind you guys to please subscribe to my channel push that notification bell to be reminded of any content I release give me a thumbs up press that like button comment down below if there's anything you want to see some more of on my channel and also you can follow me on Instagram to keep up to date with what I get up to on a day-to-day -day basis as a PhD student at Cambridge University anyway let's get straight into it <laughs> um, so this video guys is essentially going to be guiding you through how to write that all-important first email to a potential supervisor you want to work with. Uh, this is such a crucial step that I feel a lot of people do take for granted. Um, I think this is such an important step because um, choosing a supervisor for either your master's degree or your PhD research degree is so important because this is going to kind of dictate how your project is going to go. Um, because if you do get along with that supervisor, um, then you're gonna have the most amazing time ever but if you don't get along with them it's gonna be a struggle for you so it's so important for you to send that first email reaching out and then also following that up with probably uh, informal kind of meeting with them just to understand their personality and just to understand whether you vibe with them or you get along with them or you like you know the aura that they give you or you actually um, or your research or their research interest or you know your goals kind of align with each other so it's so important to kind of reach out to your uh, to a potential supervisor that you want to work with um, I have done this kind of I did this kind of years ago uh, but I actually did this when I was also within uh, my PhD program because I was on a rotation based um, PhD program during my first year so I was able to kind of explore different areas and I actually reached out to the supervisor I'm currently working with um, during my first year um, and I had a meeting with him and I kind of got along with him and honestly it was the best decision I ever made because he's such an amazing supervisor and I might be biased um, but I think everyone in my lab will be able to say the same thing um, he is just amazing so I'm happy I made this decision to contact him, reach out to him, even though he was not even on my radar in the first place. Um, but guys, let's get straight into it. Um, I have my phone here and I have an example of an email I sent to a supervisor at Oxford University. Um, this was in 2018. Wow, I feel so old right now because 2018 me... Uh, was clueless uh, but um, this email I sent to the supervisor actually had a very good response back from her hence why I am going to be basically sharing um, this email with you um, so let's see if I can share this so you should kind of see this email I sent um, on um, my screen on or the screen um, so you can see I also attached my CV at the time to this email as you can see right here um, this was my CV my academic CV um, which 
I will go into, you can watch other videos on uh, how to write academic CV, uh, basically. But I feel like I've changed my approach in terms of how I conduct and write my CV um, now. But as you can see, um, this is to Professor A.W. Um, and basically, let's just start reading. Um, so I basically started off by saying, just introducing myself and saying what I was, um, what I am and what I'm doing. So I said I'm a postgraduate student at the University College London. I'm currently undertaking a Masters of Research program in Biosciences in brackets, Biochemistry. This is just a quick introduction just to show, okay, this is what I'm doing currently at the moment. And basically I said, I'm in the process of applying slash selecting PhD projects and programs. And during a search, I gladly stumbled across um, your feature on um, BBC Radio 4, The Life Scientific, and my curiosity stared me to investigate your research profile. Um, I was delighted to discover um, that a recent focus in your research group is the control of biological aging, utilizing the nematode worms, um, model organism, C. elegans um, in short form. Uh, this area of research is in line with my MRES um, project, which is an investigation into the reg um, regulation of organismal um, lifespan um, and physiology in the contents of um, vitamin B6 in C. elegans and E. coli coupled holobiotic model. So just explaining essentially what I am currently doing at the moment and my research um, project. But as you can see, I kind of started off by kind of just, you know, giving her that kind of ego beast. Oh, I stumbled across you. Um, I saw that you're doing an amazing work. You know what, PIs want to hear that. They want to hear that you're interested in your work. They want to hear that, you know, the outreach program that they're doing in terms of going on these, you know, um, whether it's writing all these reviews or whether it's being on a, you know, uh, uh, podcast is not to waste is actually drawing in attention into their research they want to know that so it's very important for you to kind of you know boost their ego in a way uh, because everyone wants an ego boost from time to time and that's what essentially what I've done but I just quickly just slotting that in there saying that I kind of heard and stumbled across you um, on BBC Radio 4 that is just an, a nice ego boost for her um, but let's kind of carry on um, I kind of just went on to kind of explain um, what I'm doing in terms of more technical stuff by employing a combination of molecular biology, multiomics and light micros microscopy and high throughput screwing and essentially just highlighting what the aim of my project at the time was. Um, I kind of then also just decided to add a new paragraph underneath it um, just to kind of give her kind of a glimpse that you know what i do understand your struggles i can relate with you um and it's something that i feel like it's always very good to have you know one area or niche area where you can always relate to so this is why i wrote this paragraph and i remember i thought about writing this or removing this at the time um i wasn't really sure whether to leave it or remove it but i decided to stick by it and I kept it in. Um, so I wrote, working with C. elegans has so far been uh, challenging because it is very challenging to work with model organism and she will definitely be able to relate to that, but also a rewarding experience. And I would love to kind of continue working uh, with this intriguing model organism with an academic um, like yourself who shares an infectious love for this nematode worm. Because I've been able to see how much she loves working with this um, model organism and I thought you know it's very important for me to kind of also convey the fact that I also do enjoy working with it although it's very challenging um, and then just kind of rounded up the email by just saying I wanted to find out if there are any research opportunities within your research group commencing in the next academic year and also just indicating to her this is very important indicating to her that I've also applied for the Oxford Interdisciplinary League, uh, Bioscience DTP um, program, which is a BBSRC program, and just rounding it up. This is very important to her, um, for you because it's very important for you to basically kind of show her what direction you, you're going into. So telling her that, you know, what well, I am interested in any opportunity that um, you may have, but also 
I basically um, have also applied for this um, PhD program which you are also kind of an academic kind of listed on their program just to indicate to her that this is the direction that um, I'm basically following. So yeah so basically that is essentially um, kind of a guide or kind of an overview in terms of what I wrote to this um, supervisor I wanted to work with. She actually responded back to me and was very positive um, and we actually had an interview, kind of an informal discussion with each other but unfortunately she didn't actually have any funding available to her so everything was kind of resting upon if I was able to actually obtain a place on the PhD program on um, the BBSRC DTP at Oxford which I am actually currently on the equivalent at Cambridge but I didn't get on that program um, that year um, round but had an interview um, but it was just very positive to see that she received uh, my email um, very well and were able to kind of follow up and if I was gonna work with her I knew that okay she's definitely a good person to kind of work with because I was able to gauge what she's interested in and if um, what kind of direction um, my project would have gone into um, and just kind of discuss everything in general in terms of my interest in terms of my passion and what I want to do and what I want to gain out of um, working with her um, so all in all guys I think it's just so important for you to send this email to your supervisor or potential supervisor you want to work with just to gauge also send emails to students who are working within their lab or working with them just to understand um, kind of the group dynamics and understand whether they are actually a good supervisor to work with or whether it's um, kind of their work um, kind of habits or um, their work um, dynamic kind of works with yours as well um, so yeah it's just so important to do that reach out to them reach out to their students as well and also just give them that ego boost that they're always looking for uh, but guys I hope this was very inform informative um, and I hope you enjoyed um, this video so if you did like I said before please subscribe to my channel please uh, push that notification button give me a thumbs up comment below if you loved it um, or anything that you want to see some more of and guys make sure you always believe in yourself dream big and just keep being inspired every day of your life uh, so guys I will see you in the next video so take care dream big and keep being inspired 